Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. Today I'd like to discuss what is that white and milky substance on your engine oil cap. Let's just say you thought your engine is overheating, your head gasket is blown, engine and coolant is mixing together. Let's just say you check all of that, you check your radiator, you check your thermostat, you check your radiator cap and you still can't find what the problem is. I'm going to tell you exactly what the problem is. Basically here, here I am checking out this vehicle. And basically the customer wanted to replace the radiator, radiator cap, thermostat, and basically overhaul the whole entire cooling system. One thing I noticed that the coolant and the engine oil are not mixing together. Basically when I remove the dipstick, I don't see any evidence at all. And I partially drained the uh, oil from the drain plug. I also noticed there's no coolant or oil mixing at all. However, one thing I noticed is that this PCV is most likely causing the issue. This is why I had to remove and I had to physically inspect it. Just to be 100% sure that it's not a blown head gasket, I removed the engine oil cap and I physically looked into it to see if I could find any more evidence. And I just want to make sure that just by looking at the, the oil consistency, it doesn't quite look like it's an oil and coolant mixing together. Afterward, I removed the PCV and I also physically looked inside and I also realize that there's really no blown head gasket here at all. So basically what we have here is a condensation issue and also a blow by issue as well. Here I am shaking the PCV, make sure it rattle and what I know is that it's no longer rattling at all so I know it most likely malfunctioned and no, no, no longer uh, working properly. So here you go, basically it's the PCV that's causing that milky substance like the reason why is because the PCV function is to remove blow by in the uh, crankcase where it's supposed to be routed back into the uh, engine and to be burned again. If that blow-by is not removed, let's just say it lingers around in the crankcase, so what's going to happen is number one is going to build up pressure, and number two, all that exhaust gases is going to start mixing with the oil and change the uh, consistency of it, and basically that's why you notice there's a milky-like substance. Also, if you don't fix that PCV problem, you're going to notice more than just that milky substance like problem. Basically what you're gonna have is a buildup of uh, pressure in the crankcase which can cause basically all your seals and gasket to blow. For example, you're gonna start having oil pan, gasket leak, valve cover leak, rear main seal, front seal, camshaft seal, and so on. So it's very important to regularly change that PCV, let's just say every 30 to 50,000 miles or so. And if you don't want to replace it, you can just go ahead remove it and clean it with something like carburetor cleaner and that'll take care of the problem. So I hope you find this video useful. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to Top 5 Water Repairs.